Okay, we're going to go through and take a look at the Epsom Handicap on Saturday from Randwick. Um, good four track at the moment. Race likely to be run at a moderate tempo on the front end, um, which is a critical factor in this year's Epsom. Uh, field of 20, one emergency. Um, I'm going to run through the top 10 rated contenders. This is how we see the race at the moment, uh, the top 10 rated. We've got Sea Wolf at 6.0, Molly Bloom 8, huge overs. Tom Kitten 9, Mikhail 9.5, Arctic Lemma 12, Major Bill 12, Floating 16, Osbred Flirt, Blinkers first time, 20.0 is 100 to 1. 22 Kovalika, 26 Redina, others longer. Uh, the raw par ratings to par, for those who watch my videos consistently, uh, you'll be able to make sense of what that is. Sea Wolf, three to four lengths above par. Second top rated, Molly Bloom, 2.5 to four above par with a double question mark due to needing to recapture its best form, but this is the right race for it. Okay, let's go through and take a look at them. Top rated, Sea Wolf is where we'll start the seven. Well bred for the mile by Tavistock, speed injected bottom half out of a Shamadal mare, two from 12 winner for the Joseph Pride Yard, 54 kg, trial win over Golden Path, um, suggested it was holding the form of the win over Ryzen and a more victorious, uh, which has been well franked since. Hard closing second to Elias, who goes to Melbourne this weekend. Golden Path back in, fur, in third, franking it. Um, drops a kilo off that run into this. Uh, back to 1600. If it reproduces the win over Ryzen, a more victorious. Holds the level behind Elias, it's a one to beat. Has scope for more. Uh, genuine group one contender at weight for age level in the future. Okay, second top rated. Molly Bloom, the New Zealand filly. Currently 50 to 1, huge overs. Uh, where is she? Molly Bloom, the 14. Okay, currently 50 to 1, huge overs. Spread to get the trip strongly by Ace High out of an Ifraj mare. 4 from 12 winner from the Wally Yard. Um, comes into this after failing last time out behind end cap and basis loaded. Only beaten 3.5 in the Theo Marks. Uh, the yard was very coy about its chances in their preview on YouTube on Wednesday morning, Tuesday night. Uh, Wednesday, sorry. If we go back to its 8 carat classic win, um, which was the run before this at Tarapa uh, in December of 2023, second horse came out and won. They put a margin to third, third, fourth, fifth before Frank the form. Handles a good track. In with 50.5 kg. If it's back to its if it can get back to its best form of the eight carat win or the Ellis Phillies Classic win, it's a huge chance here with fifty point five. Absolutely pitchforked in at the weights, uh, fifty to one, ten to one the place. Um, rated eight point zero to win. Whenever we're getting better odds to place about what we've got it rated to win, it's always a great betting angle. I talk about that a lot. Uh, third top rated the nine Tom Kitten. Well-bred, Harry Angel out of a street cry mare. We'll get a mile strongly. Good last time behind McHale. Honey beaten 2.9, doing its best work through the line. Uh, the more victorious win in the spring preview prior to that. Lines it up back to Seawolf. Uh, Seawolf has a slight advantage, hence why Tom Kitten's third top rated. Barrier 19 needs to be negated. Okay, fourth top rated, McHale. The winner of the Bill Ritchie. Hit a new peak last start. Slightly concerned about the pedigree. Even though it's a mild pedigree, not a lot of depth in it. Good win in the Bill Ritchie last start over uh, Gringotts. Form franked. Good third to bases loaded in the Gunsing tail end of the Brisbane Winter Carnival. Um, second up into this. Will come on in leaps and bounds out to 1,600. Drops three kilos. Lots of positives, hard to put a ceiling on it. The fourth realistic winning chance. Um, 15, Arctic, Arctic Glamour, which is fifth top rated. 15, Arctic Glamour. Okay, group one winner is a three-year-old. We'll get them all strongly, as we know, by Frosted out of a Galileo mare. Um, the third to Macarena was very good, especially with the Amelia's dual form around it. Um, 
drops from 54 down to 50. Um, fourth up into this, the first up effort behind Schwartz when it flashed big pass late. Splitting Schwartz and she's an A-lister was good, hinting that 1600 may be a new peak this prep. Um, fifth top rated, the 11 major bill gets a pace advantage. Drawn well in the nine, in with 51 and a half by Sava Bill out of an O'Reilly mare. We'll go forward, try and make all. Uh, the win over, over Galleron and Roma Avenue was good. Carried 60 kg, drops to 51 and a half. Second up, uh, tried to make all in the seven stakes. Fangirl, my Oberon, got home over the top of it. Stayed on strong one pace. Drops from the weight for age of 59 that day to 51 and a half today. Pitch forked in. If it gets the right trip on the front end, could give them something to run down. 21 floating, 7th top rated. This is one of your handicappers that's in well, about to hit a new peak. Okay, the win over Bear on the Loose was good. That Frank, the run behind Major Bill, that form line's Frank. Doesn't get as much weight relief as Major Bill into this, but did come on again when winning over Bear on the Loose and Galleron. If it holds that level 59 down to 50 kg, uh, could hit a new peak here in this handicap. The 17 Ozbred Flirt, which goes around at 100 to 1, has been missed by odds makers, could run some kind of race. No jockey declared at this stage, drawn the two alley, gets Blinkers first time, which suggests to me they might try and ride, they may try and ride this upside down and go forward on it and take advantage of the moderate front end. Um, if that's true, it's a big chance here. The second to Esma Jeet in the Dane Ripper was very good. Flash big pass laid over the 1300, suggesting 1600 will suit better. First up behind Terramata at Newcastle in the Tibby. Group 3 said the same, doing its best work through the line, only beating 2.3 from 9th at the 400. New peak expected at 101 and $18 to place. We've got this rated $20 to win. So it's worth a minor each way nibble, and you have to include it in exotics. The four, Kovalika. Um, ninth top rated. Getting back to somewhere near its best form. Flash good behind Royal Patronage last time out in the tramway. Third, beaten 1.5. Mealy's duel in second. Frank's it. Soft trial since. Um, Chris Waller's pretty sure he's got this one back to somewhere near its best. Uh, in with 55 and a half, down from 58. Not that badly weighted. Um, could surprise, but is unders in the market as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so that's top nine rated. Uh, sea Wolf rated 9.0, uh, 6.0, currently available at 6.5. Been minor money for it from 7 into 6.5 since I started doing the preview. Um, second top rated Molly Bloom, you just got to back that each way all day. 51 and 10 the place. Um, rated 8.0. As I said, you're getting better place odds than what we've got it rated to win. Tom Kitten, 9.0 rated. Um, available at 9.5. No major advantage to be had. Uh, still needs to be included. One of the four major winning chances. Mikhail, 9.5 rated. Big overs at 34 and 7.25. Have to back it each way. Um, they're the major four. I'd also be nibbling at Arctic Lemmer at the 12.0. I think it's 35.0. Osbred Flirt, as I said, is huge overs at 100 to 1. And Floating, Floating also at 50 to 1. So, look, this has got the potential to be a great exotic betting race, as the Epsom uh, generally tends to be from year to year. Um, we'll make a final call on how we're going to play it closer to race day, but it's an Epsom jam packed full of value. Very wide open affair, as the market says. And... Um, we think we might be on the winning angle for another winning Epsom in 2024 at twfhorseracing.com. Don't forget to check out Weekend Winners uh, Circle, $39 a week. Uh, you can buy five or ten week packages, perfect over the spring. Uh, covers everything from Friday through to Sunday. Um, the best betting package out there. That's it. Thanks. Enjoy. See you for the next preview.